Hey Virgo, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for January 8th to the 9th of 2022. All right, let's get into it with an Oracle card message for Virgo. Next 48 hours for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know for January 8th to the 9th of 2022? All right, let's see. All right, we have Black Cat Independence. We have Dwarf Resourceful. We have Swan Fidelity. Oh, and we have Crow Sovereignty. Okay, Virgo. <laughs> this energy is very, um, very, I almost said pure for some reason. I don't know what that has to do with anything. But what I'm getting here is you're at peace, obviously. You're, you're taking time to yourself. Doesn't matter if you're in a relationship or whatever. You're basking in your own company. And with resourceful, I feel like you're you're pulling from your own source. It's like my Virgos, I feel like you're in hermit mode. Literally, I wouldn't be surprised if hermit came out. I feel like you're just keeping to yourself and you find peace in that recently. With Swan Fidelity, I feel like, again, whether you're in a relationship or not, I feel like you're you're learning to be loyal to yourself. And I know this sounds so cliche, but it's like, Literally, you're learning to be on your own, absorbing and feeding and refilling your own energy. I'm getting like the infinity symbol. You're realizing that you are, you are an infinite source of yourself. Just like people can feed off each other's energy or drain or refill each other, you're learning how to renew and refill and exchange your own energy within yourself, pulling from your own resources. It's like you're building a relationship with yourself and finding peace with that. Let's get into the tarot for Virgo. Next 48 hours for Virgo. January 8th to the 9th of 2022 for Virgo. I know this may sound boring to some, but that's what I'm getting from this. <laughs> All right, we have the magician. Baphomet um, gives health and financial prosperity, connects one safely with divine. Literally what I was saying, also the magician is Gemini and Virgo energy. Yeah, it's like you are connecting to this, your own source within you. Connects one safely with divine. You're not draining or taking from anyone. It's like I'm just getting the infinity symbol. Ace of Cups. That is also self-love self and a renewal, a new beginning in self-worth and self-love with the Ace of Cups. Also, of course, this could be a relationship as well, but with the independence and resourceful and sovereignty, I'm just getting independence and peace. For some of you, you know, whether you're in a relationship or not, I'm just getting you enjoying your own company. This is also a 10. Teaches philosophy in the uses of herbs, heals all diseases and disorders, brings good familiars. And it says give health and financial prosperity. You're just getting yourself together. This is all about self-love and self-worth. You're focused on your health, yourself, your finances. You're focused on you, 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 literally, is what I'm getting from this. Four of Swords, peace, healing, rest, tranquility. It's also 66. Oh, I cannot pronounce that. Y'all just going to have to look at that. Can, hey! I don't know if y'all can hear my guinea pigs, but they're being a hot mess. Teaches grammar, logic, and rhetoric can make one appear like a soldier. And then with the sovereignty, page of swords. So you could be studying something. I don't know if you're studying yourself or more so how to pull energy from yourself and back again and refill it with the page of swords. Or someone could be spying on you I see that you're studying yourself and you're studying the divine. You could be studying tarot or studying these um, demons on these cards or something like that. You're, you're studying energy, maybe. You're doing some type of self-discovery. Ah, that's what it is. <laughs> Gives answers of past, present, and future, reconciles friends and foes. Someone's watching you. Someone's watching you enjoy your own time. Yeah, four. So overall energy is the nine of pentacles. Oh my gosh. It's just like triple, double, quadruple confirmation. Nine of Pentacles is the overall energy. And causes any manner of music to be played. So maybe you're listening to music, or you should, 
or you're discovering new music or a new type of genre or you're playing music or something like that causes trees to bend at will brings excellent familiars again so you could be spending time with your pet or learning about animals and the ace of swords yeah someone's watching you're studying yourself healing yourself focus on yourself resting having a self-care day well focus on your finances and your you're just your overall well-being and there's someone spying on you while you spy while you learn about yourself there's someone watching you do that it's like you're falling in love with yourself someone and i feel like someone's watching you fall in love with yourself clarify this for virgo it's rare that i get a reading that is just about the sign it's usually a, someone else is involved clarify this for virgo this is a rarity I think that might be your title, Falling in Love with Yourself. All right, last one for clarifying. Clarifying the Magician is the Sun card, Leo. And the Ten of Swords. Yes, I feel like some of you were dealing with the manipulative or shifty character. Or you just gone through a cycle of a lot of backstabbing and portrayal, Dark Knight of the Soul. And that cycle is over. It's complete. Either, yeah, you've just come out of a dark night of the soul or a dark cycle. Some of you have, could have just gone through a split of some kind or a breakup or ending. It's just you've been through a lot recently and you're, you're just ready to put it all down. You don't want to go through that cycle again. I feel like a lot of you, like you fought to get to where you were to manifest this with the sun card. I feel like you're realizing that someone was manipulative. Also, for some of you, I realize, you realize that um, your, man, your manifestation powers. So I'm getting three things from this. Obviously, someone was manipulative. You're realizing that and you're putting an end to it. So I'm getting like you're cutting off a family member, friend, job, coworker, lover, whoever. But on the other end of that, I'm getting like you're learning from um, this cycle, your mistakes or whatever you've gone through so that you won't repeat it ever again. And also the worst part is over of a situation. It's like all these 10 swords are things that you've learned and collected along the way. Wisdom. I see them all as the ace of swords, all 10 of them. So you're learning the truth about yourself, about others, about your life experiences and things of that nature. And with the sun card, you're seeing things clearly, illumination and warmth. It's like coming from one of the darkest times of your life to one of the happiest times of your life. It's like you're manifesting the cure. Clarifying the Ace of Cups is the Page of Wands. So I feel like you're getting your, your creativity back, your zest for life back, or you're starting a new hobby. So either you're reclaiming something. Some of you could be growing plants or thinking about buying a succulent or something like that. But some of you could be <laughs> doing psychedelics, mushrooms. This is giving me a lot. <laughs> But I feel like, again, you're falling back in love with yourself and your, your hobbies or discovering new ones. And then we have the Six of Pentacles, Six of Cults. Let me make sure that it is. Yeah, I think Cults is Pentacles. It is. Yeah, equal give and take, refilling your own cups. The, again, the infinity. So with that creative energy flowing through you, you're learning how to pour it in. And out. Yeah, basically you're refilling your own cups. Because when you get drained by helping others or giving your energy away from to others, it um you don't want to do things for yourself anymore. So you can spend all day helping others with their projects and things. But when it comes time for you to go home and sit and paint or write that book or whatever it is you like to do, you don't have the energy. You just go to sleep and you end up not even wanting to deal with it anymore because you spend so much time and energy on other things, people, places, and things. But you're learning a, to create balance and conserve your energy. And I just keep getting like a self-growing. I just keep getting the infinity. It's like a self-growing. It's like something that can charge itself, literally. You don't need any other source. Of course, the divine but or whoever you believe in. But it's like you're learning to pull that energy from yourself. I feel like a lot of you are ending relationships. I'm going to write the infinity symbol because I keep saying it. I'm going to just write the title down real quick. Clarifying the four swords. 
is the Four of Pentacles. So you're blocking someone. Here we go with the other people being involved. Because I feel like there was someone who took you through a lot. Someone who's very manipulative. And now you see. And also I feel like you're going to expose them. There was no evil give and take in this situation. And I feel like you feel more fulfilled with yourself or with someone else. So you're blocking someone. You're withholding their energy. Or someone did this to you. Ace of um, Ace of Cups. Yeah. You have the Ace of Cups here twice. Someone has either blocked you or withholding love from you yeah i feel like you're not in contact with someone the four swords i feel like it's temporary though they are going to reach out to you but i feel like during that time you're just like yeah with the ace of cups and the four pinnacle clarify by the four swords someone's withholding energy someone's withholding now you could just be conserving your energy and your time and healing yourself giving yourself the ace of cups but with it here twice I feel like there's someone here who's withholding for a short time and they are going to reach out. But by by that time, you'll already like, you know, have found peace within yourself. Or maybe you decide you don't want to be this person anymore, something like that, or this friend. Because I'm getting both here. Like this person is like, as soon as you get comfortable and happy with spending time with yourself and freeing yourself... Because you're going to see things clearly in this time period. I feel like you're in no contact with someone. Or you just, you know, cut off from society. Put it where you go. But I feel like there's a no contact hermit mode type of energy from you. And at first it hurt. But you're learning to manifest and be happy on your own. And put an end to the cycle. You're coming to an understanding of things you've gone through. And it's putting you back in that, like, that happy-go-lucky, enjoying yourself type of energy, refilling your own cups. And it's like the person who, because I feel like someone did block you. Either you're going to end up blocking people and moving away from them or vice versa. But I feel like the people you weren't talking to come back with their cup out. Clarifying the page of swords. Yeah, someone's watching you. Then the justice card, Libra. And then they try to come back and they want what you got going on. Yeah, Knight of Cults, Knight of Pentacles. So it's like you're studying and working on yourself, creating balance and fairness. Basically, someone was draining your energy and then they pulled away and blocked you. And then it's like they, it's weird. Over energy, three of swords. Yeah, hanged man. Oh, you might hurt somebody's feelings by walking away and cutting it off. But it's like, yeah, six of wands, it is what it is. Seven of Cups, Empress, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're just starting to focus on yourself. So I feel like you're going to end up pulling away from people to focus on yourself and heal yourself. And, and I feel like it's going to rub some people the wrong way. But that's not your problem. Yeah, Knight of Cults. You could be dealing with another Earth sign, but I feel like you are the Knight of Cults putting in that work, studying yourself, learning to love yourself. But with that Justice card, that Libra card, I feel like that's divine justice for you, especially with the Six of Pentacles. But I feel like there's someone here, because this whole reading, literally, all I'm getting is you, you, you. I don't really see nobody else here. Of course, there could be a Leo, Gemini, another Virgo, or a Libra. But I feel like People are on the outside looking in. Because I feel like the thing is like people, I'm just getting that someone keeps coming and going from your life. And it's like, as soon as I get the energy, it goes. I feel like you're blocking. Someone tries to offer you their cup and you block them. And it's only because they see you doing good without them and they just want to refill their cup. That's it. Like they were not, they were just manipulating you. They were not around when you were down. So all of a sudden you're back up, you're back enjoying your company and doing things of that nature. And then here they come with their ace of cups. I feel like this person gonna, has tried multiple times and you keep blocking them, but they're watching you. And I feel like that's karmic justice, but I feel like you don't want karma. You don't want justice. You don't want any of that. You just want to be left alone. Not a pinnacle to the overall energy. Because I feel like it kind of breaks your heart to have to do this because you care about them. But it's you need to focus on you. And I feel like it's funny because as soon as I say it about you, I feel like saying it about the other person. So it's like everything that they deflect on to you, they immediately goes back to them. 
It's like you don't care what, what they're going through. You don't care about revenge. You don't care about none of that. You just want to heal yourself and focus on you. And it's like everything that they put you through, they're going through. But you don't want that. Like that's just what's happening. With the three of swords, you have the hangman, the ten of yeah, you don't I don't see any vengeful energy from you. There's no anger from this. It's just like you just you just learned to enjoy your own company. And it's confusing because because it's like when you wanted their attention, they were nowhere to be found. It's confusing to you, and that's why you have this you have the six of wands, which is you getting attention, literally nine of pentacles by yourself. But it's confusing. Seven of Cups, it's like well, when I was around, all y'all did was drain me and toss me to the side. But as soon as you become enlightened and you get back in your energy and your your balance and you're learning to refill your own cups, here they come. And they won't leave the hell alone. And they got the dare to be upset with you. This is wild. But I'm happy to see you doing good. I almost called you Libra. Yeah, you're just seeing the truth about the manipulation, but you're also seeing the truth about your manifestation powers and how, again... You're good. Again, like independence, resourceful, fidelity, sovereignty. All right, I'm going to leave it there because I feel like I'm getting to the point of philosophy here and it's going to start confusing me. <laughs> but y'all get what I'm saying because those who it resonates for, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, eight of cups. Yeah, you're, you're walking straight away. You don't want, you don't want a second chance with this person. That's what I'm seeing. I see that you're, if you're in no contact, as soon as you start feeling better, they're going to reach out. All right, I'm going to leave it there. If it resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me. All of my information is linked below. If you'd like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, she has bracelets, necklaces, rings, sun catchers, and she does commission work. Her Etsy is linked below. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.